All right, so I accepted the Make a Tool Challenge from Cody of Cody's Auto Diagnostics. And what we're going to be doing is making a J1939 breakout box. So nothing super exciting, nothing super groundbreaking, but it's more to show you guys what you can or can't do. And really all I'm trying to do here is get you guys inspired to make your own tools. Simple as that. Got our base layout here, just roughly done. Voltmeter, banana plugs, and then our LEDs. Uh, just rough spacing on this. Hopefully everything will end up being okay. This is just a, a rough draft anyway, and we just tape on and get ready to start drilling. Alright, so here we are, breakout box, we got our 12.4 volts battery, light indicating power on, light indicating good ground, we got can high, can low, now one thing I'm still playing around with, this is not completed, is getting these to flash properly, um, I'll discuss that in a minute, but we've got yellow lights for high, green lights for low, red for powers and grounds this is actually the shield don't really need that there but we have it anyway and then this is ata plus ata minus and there we are hooked right in looking at our can signal right there unfortunately right now i'm having a little bit of an issue with mr edl As you can see, sometimes it wants to, uh, yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're not gonna be able to do live data through there right now. It's something going on with the board, but simple as that. And still playing with this. So I haven't judged the overall length of cord I want and everything yet. So work in progress, but there you are. Breakout box, simple as can be. And then we will. So that is our prototype version one J1939 breakout box. Uh, like I said, there's I still want to play around with the LED flashing and get a um, differential voltage circuit going there so we have a more clearly defined on off for the one volt swings there. Uh, want to clean up the wiring somewhat, want to modify a couple things. And that's kind of the point. That's why I'm not going to go real in-depth into the wiring or anything like that. In fact, this is basically all you need to know. Input, output, connect the two. That way your scan tool can go from 
in to out and then just run a wire right off of there to whatever your jack's gonna be. Simple as that. Nice, easy, quick, simple breakout box. The LEDs I did put in this particular case, 220 ohm current limiting resistors into the power feed going to the LEDs. Uh, share to ground on the main ground lug, which uh, doesn't seem to affect the CAN bus signal at all, but I wanna play with it some more. So, like I said, it's a work in progress. More of the point is to show you guys you can build pretty much anything you wanna build, but if you build it, don't leave it be good enough. You have a tool that you don't quite like, don't leave it be good enough. Make it better, keep improving, keep doing more. It's never enough, never good enough. Like I said, I gave you guys the bare basics to get started on your own and to basically take my idea or any idea and just jump off with it. Do something cool, do something different. Make a change that a manufacturer may not make on their own. Do what works best to make the tool work best for you. That's what it's all about. And I am going to call out first and foremost Chad at the Practical Mechanic for the Make a Tool Challenge, but I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to call out anybody who's watching the video and has ever needed a tool for something that somebody didn't make or somebody didn't make a good enough tool. Get out there, experiment, play, try making your own tools. If nothing else, you'll learn a lot and it'll be a hell of a good time. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.